In this tutorial video, we're going to have a look at solving trigonometric equations, in particular ones that have multiple roots. So let's say we're asked to solve sine x equals 0 0.8, where x lies between 0 and 360. So the first thing we should do is get our calculator and find the first root. So the first root is where we inverse sine 0 0.8. which gives us 53.130. So x equals the inverse sine of 0 0.8. Just to double check, 53.130 equals 53.130. So the next step, we need to draw a big diagram of the sine graph within the range that we're given, which is 0 to 360. So nice big diagram here doesn't need to be perfect just needs to have all the key points and be big enough to annotate so we want all solutions that have a sine of 0 0.8 well if this graph here goes as high as 1 and as low as minus 1 0 0.8 roughly speaking if I draw a horizontal line at 0 0.8 it's going to be about let's say here There it is there. And our solutions lie here and here. These are the two values that have sine of 0 0.8. Now our first one we worked out to be 53.130. Now to find the other one, we're going to use the symmetry of the graph. And what I do, I imagine someone standing right at the start of the graph. And I think to myself, how far do they have to walk? to get the first solution. Well, they have to walk 53.130 from the start of the graph. So the corresponding point at the other side of the hill, starting there, that person will have to walk the same distance, 53.130. Therefore, the second solution is 180 degrees, which is there. Take 53.130. Now, what we should always do is conclude to three significant figures unless asked otherwise so we've got our two solutions now so we know x equals 53.1 and 180 take that answer is 127 to three significant figures 127 to three significant figures now in an exam you could lose marks for doing too many or too few solutions so make sure your final answer is quite prominent. So I've put a box around it there so the marker knows exactly what my final answer is. Okay, so let's do another example. Let's say cos x equals minus 0 0.2. This time from minus 180 to 180. So as before, let's find the first solution. So inverse cos of minus 0 0.2, 101.537. So x equals the inverse cos of minus 0 0.2 equals, double check what that was, 101.537. 101.537. And now we need to draw the cos graph between our two limits which is minus 180 to 180. Again, the graph doesn't need to be perfect. It just has to be big enough to clearly annotate. So starting here, oh, try again. Starting here, cos graph starts there, 90, 180 there, and 90, 180 there. So we want cos of minus 0 0.2, so we draw a line in a sensible place. So 1 is there, minus 1 is there. And our line of minus 0 0.2, let's say, is roughly there. Let's say that that's minus 0 0.2. So our first solution here lies at 101.537, roughly there. So we need to find our other solution here. Well, as before... Imagine someone standing at the top of the hill, right at the start of the graph there. 
So to get the first solution, and we'll always start from the beginning of the graph. To find that solution, he has to walk 101.537. Same here, 101.537. Therefore, the two solutions, we don't need a calculator for this, x equals 102 degrees. However, it also equals 0 minus 101.537 which the three significant figures is minus 102 degrees. And that's how to solve the most basic of trigonometric equations. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.